Hey everybody, finally back out of here on our 66 Chevy Impala restoration. Had a bit of a hiatus, uh, unfortunately, due to, well, budget, uh, time, and space. Unfortunately, my garage isn't all that big to be able to do this stuff in. Uh, and, uh, well, weather. So, anyway, finally got some good weather, got some parts, so we're going to get to her here. Uh, so, uh, show you what we got so far. So we finally got some parts. Uh, we got our right and front, right and left uh, chunk floor sections. For to get some cut some parts out of. I'm not going to need the whole thing because, um, uh, as I said in my first video, there, the floor itself really is is still solid. Um, and so, and in order to replace the whole thing, we'd be getting into a, quite a bit, um, which I don't think I really need to on this one anyway. So uh, on these ones, I'll be. Uh, I'm taking probably just this section out here and then uh, just displacing what we need and then we've also got our the chunk support uh, to replace on both sides uh, we've got uh, actually these are actually the uh, rear suspension bushings for the frame so we're doing that a little later on uh, got the body mounts and bolts as well so we put the body back on the frame bound and determined to do that uh, by default and then uh, got our uh, trunk drop downs uh, to be put in at a later date. So we'll so get those done. Um, these pieces here, actually, these are for the uh, right front fender, uh, the rear support at the rear of the fender. Um, I've been playing with that just to try and recreate this piece because uh, they do not uh, make those pieces for the Impalas. Uh, they do for the Chevelles, but not the Impalas. But anyway, I'll be playing with that later on. So basically what we're going to be doing is, uh, like I say, we're going to uh, get this cut out of here. Um, there, get to find all the spot welds. I'll be drilling those out. Um, first of what I'll be doing actually is, basically I'm going to take a measurement from, from this edge out about, say, six inches. And then same thing, sorry, same thing down here, six inches. Get that so I've got a good measurement point. Uh, to make sure that this piece goes right back where it go where it needs to go um i mean essentially it really only goes in one place but you know i'd rather have the measurement and make sure that we get it right um so we'll cut this guy out um get all our spot welds uh, uh cut out on this on this edge here we'll drop this we'll cut out just the floor section that we need splice in splice it all back in and then we should be good to go get her all undercoated and all that so I'll go to get uh, get some tools and we'll uh, get started and show you the progress. All right, so we got some got some digging done here. So uh, I've got this uh, section of the uh, inner fender well out, and that uh, that helped to kind of expose this edge here. Uh, so uh, just gonna took the uh, spot weld spot weld drill. Uh, this bad boy right there uh, works really well. It's two-sided. Uh, one side gets dull, you just unscrew it, flip it over, and use the other side. Really, really sharp. Very, very sharp. Um, comes in a kind of you get a case of like 20 of them um, off Amazon for like 30 bucks. Really good deal, and they really work well. Um, so anyway, so we got that piece cut out. So uh, we're making a piece to splice in there eventually um, but now we've got but now we got the uh, so we got the mount piece out here um, all cut out and uh, it's down here on the ground all the mess that came out from underneath it um, uh, again I was surprised that when we took the bolt out of here that it didn't break but it didn't uh, there's only there was only two bolts that broke on this car when we were taken apart surprisingly enough but anyway, there's that piece. So now we'll uh, work on looking at what part at the uh, the floor section here, and get her get her cut down down and through here probably. Um, got some good metal still up in here. Um, let's see. I'll see. How, I'll see how it goes. Uh, I might uh, I might take it all the way back to to here maybe um, just to give it a nice kind of solid piece. Um, got like a little bit of swelling up of rust in here, so I might have to, I might just, uh, I might just take the, the floor out just above, 
uh, just above this uh, fuel tank support here. Maybe just take that out and put in a piece right in there just to clean that up and get that out of there. It looks like it's starting to get rusty in there. But uh, yeah, that's what we got done so far. So uh, we'll uh, keep digging at her. Alright, here we go. Cutting and grinding and all that. Finally out of our floor section out here. Nice and square, up the back of good metal. So we'll, there's that piece there. So we'll flip her up here and take a look underneath. There we go, here's what we got underneath. Got that all cleaned out. Trunked up down, I'm not too worried about it until I get into the quarter panel and all that. But we'll, we'll get that all cleaned up anyway. But we'll be able to cut our new floor section. Splice it right in here, we'll clean up some of these spot welds that are still sticking up here. But uh, we got lots of, lots of good metal to Grind back down to get this all, this all over the back in here and all that. So yeah, I think we're looking good so far. So we'll, uh, what we'll do is we'll put the, uh, we'll take the piece that we just cut out, put it up against the, the new panel, scrap lines all the way around it, cut it slightly bigger, and then we'll shave her down and get her in here. All right, so. We'll get to that and uh, show you that after the next. All right, so got our panel cut. Uh, basically got it cut down to a smaller size so we can uh, work with it a bit, cut it larger than the piece we cut out, of course. And so we've got our, so we basically took the piece, got it matched up, and then I've just described a line, just scribed it basically around where it is. I'm not going to actually cut on that line right now. I'm just going to now I'm just going to work it and start shaving down towards that, um, and uh, just make this fit just perfect so it'll it'll drop right in and be able to weld it up. And I know we're going to have to do probably do have to do a little splicing here and there in, in different spots, like case like uh, especially uh, right in here. You can kind of see there's more of a bend here to the original panel. And then there is on the new one, so I'll have to do some bending and splicing, mucking around a bit, get her to fit. But we're gonna, but basically, like I say, I'm gonna start sh shaving it down to this line and fit it as I go and uh, get her right back in the same spot there. Uh, so we'll uh, get that done and show you what's going on after that. Thank you. 
So after a bunch of cutting, a bunch of grinding, we're slowly getting her in here. Uh, do some shaving and all that, but we're getting our getting our spot welds in, just spotting all the way. Just put on a few welds, grind it down, a few more welds, grind it down, adjustment here and there. But slowly but surely, she is getting there. This very first panel that we're putting back in. So we're just going to keep going on her here and get this finished up and then we'll work on putting that support, putting that support piece back in here. Alright, so we're getting her, getting her done here. Slowly getting her welded up. Grinding down a bit. Welding, grinding. Got a few pinholes to take care of first. And then we'll go to the inside over here. And we'll weld in that spot right in this edge here, which is just over top of the support for the gas tank and the trunk floor there. A couple spot welds in there to spot weld too. Like I say, we'll finish up on the outside and then we'll take care of the inside here. Alright, got some welding done here, a little welding, got to do some cleanup grinding in here, inside here, but we've got that plate in there, uh, it's got to do a little bit of cleanup welding over there, a couple of ugly spots, but then we'll get that all cleaned up. That, that plate is now finally in, and now we're working on our mount section here, I've got it Got it cut and trimmed where it needs to be. Got some spot weld holes ready to go. Basically what I did with this is I measured from measured from this mount hole right here on the original one and measured over from this edge over here 12 inches and then took another measurement from the bottom of the hole down to down to here 12 inches. So Got her basically right back in exactly the same spot as the other one there. So, uh, say I got some got the spot welds all done in here. She's clamped kind of where she's gonna go. So now I'm gonna get some. Uh, gonna protect. I'm gonna take this off here now, and I'm gonna spray down with some weld through primer just to protect it from un protect it underneath now, and then get that all spot welded in. And uh, yeah, that'll be that mount in. All right. Get all right, here we go. Mount is done and in. So I got her all spot welded in, and uh, got her painted down with some, uh, with some. Right now, it's just painted down with with this uh, Eastwood self etching weld through primer, um, just to keep it protected. And uh, gonna. And so basically, just got the uh, got her all spot welded in here, all the way around, up underneath where the. Fender well is eventually going to come down in here, and then I just kind of knock the knock the top of the welds off, just kind of clean up a little bit. It doesn't have to look overly pretty underneath here. Just you know, kind of neaten it up just a little bit. Um, basically, what I did, uh, for, well, for all of it, all the welding I was doing, is you know, I'm definitely no expert, so you <laughs> you can see that. But anyway, uh, for underneath here, I'm not too worried about it how it looks. But basically, I just I use this guy on the grinder. Use the edge of it and just kind of as I was going I was knocking down the tops of the welds you know weld weld a little bit weld a little bit then knock this down clean it up right and then I went and switched to this guy here this uh, sanding disc that's an 80 grit one there and then just use that to kind of clean it up a little bit and all that and around on this edge too as well and then uh, I sprayed the primer down first up underneath here before I put this on I sprayed it all down with the with that uh, weld through primer and then put this guy up in position sprayed it on the inside as actually well too and then put him in position welded it and then of course I've sprayed, I've sprayed it all again just to make her nice and clean and uh, and seal her up until we uh, get the undercoat part done 
Um, what I'm also going to do in here is I'm actually going to get some of the uh, internal frame coating and spray it up inside all these little holes up in and around, trying to get it up in there. Um, and, uh, that should help protect everything where we were welding up underneath this and get it all coated and well protected as well. So uh, looking not too bad. I'd say you know it's not the, some of the <laughs> not the prettiest welds. I'm definitely no expert. That's you know definitely never claimed to be that. It's definitely been a while since I've been doing this too. So uh, just trying to get the feel for the welder again. Um, the welder I'm using is this Lincoln Big Pack 180. Um, beautiful welder. Looks great. Um, I could actually probably uh, use the uh, the next step down from this one, I think, is the 140. Um, this one here, like I say, it works great, but it's the, even on the lowest setting, it's almost just about too much heat. Because uh, what I was finding was as I was welding, I'd have to basically take the tip and basically kind of point it in kind of like this way. So basically it's, I'd be welding from old to the new stuff. Because every once in a while, you know, if I was trying to go the other way, it I'd have an automatic blow through, um, and you get a you know freaking hole for where it's where it's blown the stuff through. So, but um, we got the kind of got the feel for it now. So I just kind of make sure I'm pointed from old to the new stuff, and uh, this guy works 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 beautifully. Um, uh, I've always loved the the Lincoln stuff myself. You know, personal opinion, but anyway, um, yeah working pretty good um, and then uh, on the inside still got some cleaning to do um, yeah I, you know just knocking down well so wasn't too worried about uh, cleaning this up yet inside like I say what I'll what I'm gonna do I'll wait until the body's back on the frame and I'll, I can actually hop in here and uh, clean this all up and get those welds re redo some of these welds and it's a little got a little ugly in that back corner but we'll take care of that but uh, yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much got that taken care of. And then uh, yeah, I say I'm gonna leave this piece out for now. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about putting this piece in yet. Um, I'll wait until she's back on the frame, and then we'll get the get the cover panel taken off, and uh, we'll uh, just gotta do a little bit of reworking in here. A little patch piece up in this this outer fender well section. And then uh, once you got that, and then tie this back in, get this all welded back together again. And then, uh, yeah, she should be uh, good to go when we go to put the cord panel on, and, the, and then this drop down as well. Um, I haven't, uh, I haven't, I haven't quite finished welding in this end yet because, again, uh, I've got to get this old uh, uh, trunk drop down out because uh, the new one's going to come right over to here. So I'm just gonna, I just left this little piece here. I haven't welded it yet, uh, so I just got to rework it a little bit, and then we should be uh, that should tie in uh, quite nicely once we got the new stuff in there. So, so yeah, there we go. Uh, so on to the next next one will be the uh, driver side, uh, left side. We're doing basically exactly the same thing. So uh, yeah, we'll see you on the next video there, folks, and uh, have a good one. Talk later.